Welcome to MobileSyrup.com, mobile news and reviews for Canadians. This is the recently launched Nokia 5800 Express Music, now available in Canada. As you can see, it's a really minimalistic design when it comes to this touchscreen device. It's got a 3.2 inch screen, minimal buttons on the front here. It's got your call, menu, and also hang up button on the very top. It's got your earpiece, plus a front camera there. Also, if you see the very front here, you can see on the top right, it's got the Express Music, but if you just press on the before the end there, it's the, where the light lights up, it brings up all your media features such as your music, your gallery, your share, and also quick access to your videos and also the internet. Plus on the top left shows your what you're connected to, your clock, and also the date and time there. So it is really easy to get things done here. Plus gives you any notifications that you do have on the right hand side such as the time plus any emails you do have. On the left hand side you do have two area slots here one for, for your SIM card the other is for your micro SD card. Now this ships with 8 gigs and can hold another 8 gigs for a total of 16. Also on the left hand side is where your speakers are. If I zoom in you can see here one here and also on the right hand side. We'll get into that in a second. Top is where your data is, a USB, 3.5mm earphone jack, place to charge it up, plus power on off. Right hand side, volume rocker, lock and unlock. One touch button to a 3.2 megapixel camera. The color is ice, so you know you're getting some good quality right there. Autofocus, flash, dual LED, so it can really do some damage. Now this can also do some videos, so you can take video there as well. On the left hand side of the back here, just pull this out in the bottom. It's where you got your stylus. On the very bottom itself, it's where you talk into your ear, your microphone there. Other than that, there's nothing else to this. Feels really nice in the hand, lightweight, all plastic all the way around. You can see it's got this chrome sort of overlay, but it's not chrome, it's still plastic. And also, it's 109 grams, so it really feels light. The call quality is nice. This gives you quick access to your dialer. Also, quick access to any contacts you do have. You can see it has an accelerometer as well. As well. So let's go straight into this. This is the main menu here. You can see there's many options. We're just going to go straight into the music feature so you can hear the sound quality of this. Now one of the things you can see I was pressing one button there. When you get into different programs here you just have to press a couple buttons to get to the place where you do want. So if we go into some of the areas here, such as the album, you just have to press twice. So some devices we're used to only pressing once. Here are some areas you do have to press twice. So if I increase and decrease the volume, speakers are on the bottom. speakers are really dominant. They really have some great sound to it. You can see it shows with the album artwork, artist name, song, duration of the song. Even if we go out to the main menu, you can see that it's playing with the song right there on the main menu screen. So it tells you what song is playing. So you really don't have to leave the area that you are. You can also do different, run different applications while you are in the music area. Right now I'm in the search area. You can see on here I press search on the very top here. If I want that I just go in here start searching for anything that's in your device. Searches everything with the things that you do want. The music player is really good, comes with an FM radio. So if we go out of here, we'll go into a different area of this device just to give you a greater insight into how everything operates. You can see it's opening the full playlist of songs. You can go up and down, scroll up and down, choose whatever song you might want, but you have to press twice, remember some different areas. 
But once you do press it, the sound really makes up for any extra movements you may have. Let's press it on full volume here for a sec. Show you the speaker sound. It does come with three and a half millimeter headset jack as well. So if we go back out here, I'll show you the messaging. You can see you can do all your messages accordingly, instant messaging, email, text messaging, picture messaging. So regarding the messaging, you have several options. Maximum character for text messaging is 160 characters. If you press on here, this is the handwriting recognition. Let's say you don't want the handwriting recognition. You have several other options. Handwriting recognition, mini QWERTY keyboard, full screen QWERTY keyboard, alpha numeric keyboard. So I'll just go into the full QWERTY keyboard here. You can see this is what it does look like. I'm just going to type in I am here. It's pretty responsive. It just takes some getting used to getting the keyboard. Once you're done that, you just have to press the OK button and then send it. You can send it to one of your contacts as well. So for anything that you're doing regarding any text messages or emails, it's pretty easy to get things done here. And all you have to do is just press send away. And they'll send you a notification that is sent. So messaging is really easy. Text messages, emails are good. And that's the response that you are connecting or you have sent your text message. So once it does up your mailbox for your email, it'll bring everything up here that you do have and give you a notification that you have a new email. So regarding the new email, you can see that if we go to the main menu, the new email will show up by two new messages and new, new email. So you have the option to show it or exit, but remember that on the very front here, it'll bring up two new messages and new email as well. So depending on what you have here, what shows up, this is a great quick access area to find out what you do going on within your own device. So if we go back into here, I'll show you some more key features of this device, such as the camera. All you have to do to access the camera is press the button on the front here. It'll take you straight into the camera features. I'm just going to take a quick picture. You can see there's a grid format there. You have to do many options when you want to take a picture and just take it wherever you want. You can send it, edit it as well, take it to the trash, change everything, rename it, or go straight to your gallery. I'll go straight to my gallery. You can see that now that I'm in my gallery, you can scroll through your images however you like. In addition, what you can do is do it as a slideshow. So it'll take you right through all your pictures and you can just sit back with a buddy and play them. So other features when it comes to the camera, you can go into slideshow, send it, edit them as well, but some key areas for the gallery wise is that you do have many options you can do when it comes to kind of changing the old feel of the camera. You can change a different mode to your video camera, hide the grid, so now the grid doesn't show up. This is a 3.2 megapixel autofocus, Carl's Ice lens, dual LED, so lots of things here. Get rid of the red eye, change to the front camera, change the exposure, sharpness, contrast, some great features when it comes to the camera. I'm really impressed with the camera features. Let's go straight into the internet. does show web pages really well, renders them. You have the option to zoom in and zoom out. Loads really fast. You 
can see that when you scroll down, it's going through all the places. So it just takes a little while to catch up to your finger. I'm just going to go to mobilesyrup.com, show you what a web page does look like. Let's say you do want to zoom in on a specific area. You can see that it does load it really well. Let's say you want to see the whole page. All you have to do is simply zoom all the way out and it shows the whole page. It renders it really well. This does have an accelerometer so you can view it both, both ways too. In addition, one key area of the web area is that you can switch between different web pages. So if you want to go back to the mobile syrup page or go back to the previous page you were, you were at, all you have to do is press on the area and it'll take you right there. So you can run multiple web pages and also run multiple applications at the same time. You can see with the menu features, you can. I'm currently running five applications right now. You can see that all these different areas with kind of a circular motion here, these are all the applications that I'm running. This also comes with Nokia Maps, and other applications that we're kind of used to these days, such as a calculator, the converter, the clock, all the notes. The touch screen is really responsive. Just some areas that I would like to see improved on is the sensitivity of this, of the area with the scroll on the right hand side. You can see you can load up your games there. So overall, I'm really impressed with it. It only weighs 109 grams. So you kind of know what you're getting. The actual feel is really nice. Call quality is really great as well. Had no drop calls. Call reception was great. People didn't uh, complain of us breaking up or any disturbances like that. The music speakers are really impressive. As you can see on the right hand side, I'm just going to drop down this menu. I'm going to go straight into the music player again. I'll leave you with, we'll leave you with some tunes. So you can run multiple applications at the same time. Pretty decent. So this is the Nokia 5800 Express Music. Really impressed with it. Really responsive. Can play all your music. Store up to 16 gigs micro SD card. Lightweight, feels great in the hand. 3.2 megapixel camera, can take video. It's a great device to get your hands on. 3.2 inch screen, touch screen. For more information on mobilesyrup.com.